So another crossover has returned in Grand Summoners, this time being Shaman King. Shaman King returning is kind of mid because they didn't really change too much about these characters in terms of buffs and also there was no real new additions to this crossover. So all my vets that played during the first time, it's going to be a very dry period for all of us. But for all my new peeps that never got to experience Shaman King, then this crossover may have a few highlights for you, including the unit banner itself. Banner will be a banner that features Yo, Anna, Tao Rin, Hal, Adele, and Sarah. The boy Yo has been kind of still making a splash even to today's standards. His buffs did pretty much nothing for him. It's going to be the reoccurring thing for most of these characters. However, he does have a little bit more damage now on the skill that he's able to stack. Also, his art does deal a little bit more deeps as well, which is kind of a nice little addition since you are going to be using his arts quite a bit. But yeah, Yo, amazing arch jenner, amazing buffer, can be used in nukes with the 100% attack up. Of course, his slots are not the best for nuking, but you know, they're decent enough to actually be utilized in nuking. And I guess the only bad part about this kit is that he's only able to buff up fire allies attack, which is kind of, uh, you know, it would be nice if this was like AOE attack buffs or whatever. However, he still does have the permanent physical damage buff that he's able to stack with his art. So you're able to use him with other physical damage dealers if you don't want to utilize him on specifically a fire team. And overall, Yo is just a really solid character. Solid fire nuke supporter with the 100% attack up. Good unit to use and sustain, and not much else can be said. Next is the girl, Anna. Anna, one of my favorite units from the original crossover, uh, even though she wasn't utilized too much, but she pretty much allows you to sustain for a lot longer, especially against harder fights. I know a lot of people would like to use her in the mines as well, including myself in mono earth teams. If I go against Palamecia on higher floors, I probably will sub in an Ana just to kind of help negate some of the damage that will be happening. And even though she is very cared to Earth units, she's one of the only units in the game that actually gives AoE 100% defense ignored. But even with all this being said, I would say she falls under the very niche category. She's not really as strong as someone like Yo, for an example. She still is really good. It's just if you don't need the 100% defense ignore and you're not using an Earth team, you probably won't turn to her. Next is the boy Tao Rin, the king of buffs from this crossover. Yeah, Tao Rin is, I want to say, going to be probably a very strong unit when it comes to longer type of content in the game. Think of stuff like Mines, for an example, where there's multiple stages and you're able to ramp up his art quite a bit. Also now, not to mention too, he is instantly able to get off at least one art at the start of every quest, no matter what. Due to the fact that his resolute passive actually does give him 50 art gauge instantaneously upon entering the quest. He has Elimination, which even gives him more damage if the enemies are under 30% HP, so technically he actually has 360 60% damage up if you max him out. And this boy has evasion and overall Tao Rin's looking like a very solid nuker option now. Which is weird to say because the last time he came around, I feel like he was a very just whatever character. Not a lot of people will be looking out for him, but nowadays I would say it's very likely that you may see people even build comps around this guy. And last but not least, when it comes to the Shaman King units, we have the boy Hao. Now, how whenever he first came out was quite a menace in terms of nuking and damage and everything else. A lot of people used him for DPS and he definitely can still do that. He can still fill that role. He does have that 70,000% modifier. He does have the amazing debuffs that is the magic resist down and the fire resist down. But for me, I will say that Hal has became more of a sub attacker than mainly my main damage. His art is amazing because it gives everybody the art gauge, plus it also lowers the enemy's burn resist, which is really great when it comes to getting your two debuffs off on your true art. His slots are amazing with all five star slots, so he's able to fit into a lot of different teams. And yeah, there's not much else to say here. Hal does do a lot of things when it comes to sustain. However, when it comes to more of the nuking side, I think it takes a little bit more to get Hal going because the only thing he has going for him is the high multiplier and of course the equip slots. Hal doesn't have any innate damage buffs in his kit so it's very easy for him to actually not get like the most damage in a nuke and not to mention too that his true art takes years to come out it's a very long animation so when it comes to like nuking with him now I mainly utilize his debuffs more so than his damage. But it also is nice to know that if I wanted to, I could still build a nuke team around Hal and get a lot of value out of that as well. I would say, yeah, if you wind up getting Hal, he's probably the second best character to pick up from this entire crossover. Some people may argue he is the best character to pick up from this entire crossover. The other being, of course, the boy Yo. But yeah, still a great unit. Only negative I can really got for him is that his animations are kind of slow and he has no innate damage buffs. Now, as for the other two characters, these guys are just, you know, filler characters. We've got Adele and Sarah. Adele was always a character that struck me as why is this character in the game she's a water unit that kind of benefits with being with fire allies 
since her art does increase healing taken for fire allies by 100%. However, that's the only thing that's actually tied to fire allies, so it's very weird that she even has that to begin with. She is quite a beefy healer, though. The way how you mainly use her is that you pop your true art, you increase everybody's healing taken, and then you pop your art, and that's really about it. I want to say, though, with Adele, even though she does deal a lot of healing and she does have some decent passives in her kit, she definitely isn't a bad unit and can be utilized in some harder content. But I will say Water does have other characters that are very good healers that if you need like this much healing. I know Aristilla definitely comes to mind when I think of solid burst water healers. Definitely not a necessity and I would say it's more so in a very niche situation because you're not going to need this much healing when it comes to most content in the game. Next is the girl Sarah. Now Sarah, she is kind of a weird unit too where she wants to reduce the enemy status res and then inflict the enemy with some type of status effect. However, her herself actually doesn't have any status effects that she can inflict. But if you get a status effect on the character, your true art debuffs, which reduce the enemy's evasion and reduce the enemy's magic resist, actually gets doubled. Instead of it just giving you 20 and 40% respectively, it now gives you 40 and 80%, which is a massive magic resist down. So I can see some gimmick comps come out with this character when it comes to nuke compositions and all that. Even with the nuke compositions though, I could see people just using something like Karama Whip and being able to get off a poison of some kind so you do get the 80% magic res down on certain magic nuke teams. So for that, I'll say that okay pickup. The fact that she relies on other units that are stats inflictors or other pieces of equipment that are, you know, stats inflicting equips is kind of a negative in my opinion. And, you know, some people may not have that, especially if you are more newer to the game. So definitely more of a niche character, um, but definitely does have some uses. So now we get to the end of this video. The verdict of the banner. Should you summon or should you not? But if you are new to the game, I'll always just tell you, you know, why not just throw a multi at it? If the banner interests you, throw a multi. However, if you're not newer to the game, I would say this is a very up to you type of situation. I don't think that it's necessarily a bad idea if you don't summon but i don't necessarily think it's a bad idea if you do summon none of these characters are necessarily meta breaking i guess the main one that most people will want is the boy how because a i mean the boy got lots of drip and he's still very appealing when it comes to fire magic nukes and just fire nukes in general and just you know a very good unit in general and even the boy yo you know can definitely appeal to a lot of people that maybe needs some type of good fire arch jenner because i think yo is one of the only fire arch jenners in the game off the top of my head apart from berwick but with so much stuff happening very very soon in global grand summoners literally we're gonna be having like the black friday stuff happening in like two weeks and who knows who's gonna come out for that banner it's very likely that we get volti lr possibly in december that's whenever we're gonna get the anniversary stuff so it's also likely that we wind up getting someone like emperor in december or early january so it's hard to say they throw out a multi for shaman king just because we know so much good stuff's coming literally within the next few weeks so hey some at your own discretion i myself am just throwing a multi and then getting out because like i said i really need to save up for all the crazy stuff that's gonna be happening but that's gonna be it for this video man thank you all again for coming out it's been your boy p don't forget to like comment subscribe for more if you enjoyed this video i highly recommend you check out either one of the videos popping on your screen right now great content guarantee you love them and oh yeah before you leave don't forget to drink water